I've never lived with like just random housemates, so I don't actually know the struggle of of sharing a house like that. <laughs> it sort of depends on the kind of people you're living with. Like sometimes mm-hmm. you'll get absolute fucking weapons. And other time you'll get like decent people, and it's kind of a roll of the dice. Mm-hmm. There's always something like you've always got to be a bit wary when your housemates <clears throat> are in their forties. Like, why you share housing when you're forty? Like, what's yeah, going on in your life? Yeah, that is not a good time. I've um I've heard some horror stories from Alfie uh, about housemates that he's had. Um. I'll, I'll share some stories. They're actually really good. Um, so uh, he had a couple living with him for a while. And, like, they're, they're really nice, but they're basically just, like, they're not very bright. <laughs> um, so the one of them was well, is a chef, um, mm-hmm. like an actual professional chef, and they bought a, a new block of cheese, and they kind of, they they opened it, used it, and they they put the whole block of cheese back in the fridge unwrapped. The next day, they were amazed by the fact that the cheese had gone all hard and fucking gross. They're like, "We have no idea what happened. What happened? This is a new block of cheese." <laughs> fucking hell! And they just like do shit like um. They went away for, like, they don't live together now anymore, Mm. but um, this is a bit before they left. They went away for, like, a three-week little holiday thing. Mm. And before that, they had, like, washed all the dishes and shit. And they had a Nutribullet, and they, like, washed the little um, cup part. Mm -hmm. They didn't let it dry out, and they screwed it back onto the blender part and just left it in there. So for three weeks, there was this festering water thing just uh no, okay it's not good no good image to think of and anyway they come back and uh they don't wash it oh, <laughs> they just no. open it up and use it straight away so um if they cause the next pandemic don't <laughs> i've got it there, there's you go yeah, I've got a couple of stories from uh, my old place. This place has been pretty good so far. Like, <clears throat> I've got a few like a little like little tiny annoyances, but nothing that's like absolutely horrible. My my last place, uh, my housemate who was also my landlord. That's always the fun part about share housing with like private rentals. You usually end up living with your landlord. Um, uh-huh. So he would like to have parties until. God knows what time in the morning, like 6, 7 a.m. in the morning, and would do it mm-hmm. on just, like, a random day. It's like, oh, I... It, like, the other problem was he didn't tell anyone. So it would be at, like, midnight. It's like, oh, he's just going to go on for a little bit. And then at 2 in the morning, it's still going. 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning, 5 in the morning. And it wasn't, like, <sighs> sort of quiet. It was... <laughs> and it was shaking the house. Like, you could feel the house shaking as the music was playing, and you cannot sleep through that. It's completely impossible. And then you would no, go out and try to be like, hey, can you, like, turn the music down? And he would try to, like, make excuses about it. Like, oh, it was my mate that turned it up. Or, oh, I didn't realise you were horrible. Like, what are you... What the fuck are you doing? You're, like, in Brian. your fucking... I think he was 35 or something. Like, surely... But Surely you don't you know understand. I've got to keep the party going because if it stops, then my life stops. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have drank during that. <laughs> <laughs> and the, uh, he would also have a, like a 40 pack and him and his mate would drink it together. It's like they'd have 20 each in a night. That's not And you're in good. your 30s. Like how the, firstly, I... how are you doing that? I'm impressed. <laughs> Secondly, why? Um, that's a really good question. 